Hello and welcome to BFS Wargaming. So welcome to our first real lore video. And today we're going to talk about a faction that's very close to my heart, which is the Necrons, my first faction in 8th edition. And I really, really love the lore of the Necrons because it sort of sets up the Milky Way galaxy. It's like the start, really the start of the Warhammer 40k lore. Um, and I love it. So without further ado, let's start the lore video. 60 million years before the 41st millennium we now know, there was a race called the Necronteer whose empire spanned the Milky Way, much like the Imperium of today. The Necronteer's empire grew so big, rebellions started within, and the first succession wars happened. The Triarch, the ruling council of the Necronteer, could see only one way to stop these wars, and that was to have a common enemy. The Necronteer were plagued with bad health and weak bodies. This made them jealous of a race called the Old Ones, who were immortal. The Old Ones would not tell the Necronteer the secret to long life, so they then started the War in Heaven, which brought all of the Necronteer dynasties together. The War in Heaven did not go well for the Necronteer, the Old Ones being too powerful. The worse the war went, the more the Necronteer fought amongst themselves and then the second succession wars took place. The Triarch, looking for a way to stop the succession wars and defeat the old ones, had the wish answered when they came into contact with a race of star gods called the Catan. The Catan, who had also been at war with the old ones previously, sent the star god the Deceiver to go before the Silent King, who was the head of the Triarch and the Necronteer. The Deceiver promised the Silent King he would help win the war against the old ones and give the necronteer immortality which they so craved the silent king agreed to the allegiance and doomed his race as from this the Catan transferred them into living metal bodies and as they done so they fed on the souls of the necronteer the biotransference biotransference took place and the necronteer became soulless robots known as the necrons the war in heaven started against the old ones once again, and the combined might of the Catan and the Necron technology was proving too much for the old ones. The old ones, in retaliation, created races of beings to help them. They first created the Eldari and then the Orcs to fight in these wars against the Necrons. However, it was too late for the old ones. They were defeated in part by Necrons and the Catan, and also by Warp Spawn they may have unknowingly created themselves. The old ones, as far as anyone knows, are now extinct. The Silent King, feeling deceived by the Catan and seeing his people as these soulless machines waited for the end of the war and turned on the Catan to take his revenge. The first Catan they killed, Landu Gore, upon his death released a virus known as the, Fly the Flayer Virus, which turned the Necrons into flayed ones, infected murderous creatures flaying the skin of any living creature and wearing it over their machine bodies, turning them crazy. Not wanting to have this virus unleashed any further, the first, the rest of the Catan, they shattered into shards and used and held prisoners by the Necrons to use in battle. The Silent King having defeated the Old Ones and the Catan, seeing new races becoming powerful such as the Aeldari, decided with their immortality, the Necron should go into stasis for 60 million years. And by this time, these races should have been gone and the galaxy would be there for the Necrons to once again reign supreme. The Silent King, after putting his race to sleep in stasis, felt bad about what he had done to them and decided to leave the galaxy. On his way out, he came across a race called the Tyranids who were coming into the galaxy so the Silent King turned his ship around fearing what they might do to the galaxy and having nothing left for the Necrons when they wake. Now in the 41st millennium, the Necrons have started to wake, however there is many new powers in the galaxy and only a fraction of the Necrons have risen so far. There are billions yet to wake up. The Silent King has now returned to wake and lead the Necron dynasties and retake the galaxy for the Necrons. I hope you enjoyed this lore video. Short and sweet, giving you a, an overview of the Necrons, their story, 
Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if I've, you feel I've missed anything that's big. And I will speak to you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.